Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 4, Round 5 at Bristol. We are under the lights. Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 4, Round 5 at the world's fastest half mile. This is Bristol. Starting on the pole today is going to be Alex Filter, and alongside him is Matthew McMurray. Starting third is going to be Garrett Jones. Fourth, Gino Harvey. And running out your top five, Andrew Waltrip. And sixth is Ziggy Vane. Seventh, John Worry. Eighth, Sean Henley. Ninth, Zach Buchanan. And rounding out the top ten, Greg Jones. And now here's the rest of the starting lineup. Evan Earnhardt, Joseph Bryant, Dion Petty, Jacob Lawler, Chris Summers, Timmy Pacioli, Danny Wells, Charles Jackson, CJ Sorensen, Dylan Young, Courtney Simpson, Phil Jones, John Dawson, Kurt Kozlowski, Connor Breton, Mitch Speed, Andrew Schwartz, Christian Janes, Kyle Smith, Jack Richards, uh, Jacob Cook, John Dillon, Stephen Dillon, Carter Kozlowski, Lewis Gordon, Sean Galligan, Alex Dawson, Justin Perry, Michael Harvey, Julie Stewart, Seth Cole, and Austin Anderson. All right. We are getting ready for 50 laps of great racing at Bristol. Whoops. Here comes Alex Filter, and green flag is in the air. Matthew McMurray with a great start. Gino Harvey did not get going on the start, but, whoops. Coming out of two, it looks like they were pretty clean on back as they're through, uh, double wide here for the lead, and Matthew McMurray almost got up into the wall. Filter leads the first lap. And I believe they made it. Yep. Whoa, Henley! Henley got up into the wall. Almost wrecked. And now we got a good battle for the lead here. Alex Filter and Matthew McMurray. McMurray to the inside, and and it looks like he's going to be able to take it further back. Timmy Pacioli was three wide. And now John Worries up into the wall. Jumps off, and oh, we got a wreck! Don't know who wrecked all. Oh, who was that there on pit road? That was um, 41. And oh, they're wrecking again. Christian James goes around and Henley is in it. Tough break for the two there. Dion Petty has wrecked. And then we saw the 41 involved in a crash as well. Dylan Young, he's on pit road. Let's see what happened. Well, right here, we had signs that uh, eventually Dion Petty had crashed. But right here, Dylan Young and Greg Jones get together, and they slam into the inside wall. It was more Dylan Young than anything. And actually, as that was happening, Evan Earnhardt had got wrecked. And Dion Petty. Yes, I believe, uh, I think Evan wrecked. All right, let's see what happened here to Dion. Yeah, Henley got up into the wall, causing Evan to come down on Dion. Dion hits John, and around goes Dion Petty. Petty just clips that inside wall with both front and back ends of the car. I think he'll be all right. But then we have to figure out what happened. Wait. Okay, I thought that might have been a wreck there. Okay. Let's see what happened to Christian James. All right, right here, Sean Henley gets up into the wall. Phil Jones turns him into Christian James, and they go around. Lewis Gordon did an incredible job missing that. Henley and Christian James definitely got the worst end of that crash. Henley hits uh, James after the wreck is over. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that crash. Let's get back to the restart. All right, the pace car is in in just a few seconds. Restarting up point is Andrew Waltrip, then Matthew McMurray, Alex Filter, Gino Harvey, Garrett Jones, Zach Buchanan, Jacob Lawler, Ziggy Bain, Danny Wells, and Timmy Pacioli, your top ten. So we are about to go back racing. Here we go. The green flag waves. Andrew Waltrip leads him back down. He got a great restart, and he's flying through one and two. Looks like everybody stays single file. And Andrew Waltrip is going to lead this lap. Making sure everybody else is all right. Jack Richards is a little bit out of the groove. He was able to keep it off the wall. Garrett Jones up the track. Side by side with his Joe Gibbs teammate, Zach Buchanan. And out of the inside of him is Jacob Lawler.
Andrew Walchip with the lead. He will lead this lap at Bristol. We're on lap 12 of 50. Oh, trouble! Lewis Gordon is around. In the 77, we will probably stay green, as long as nobody else wrecks. The 77 has gone around. And I don't think we're having a caution for that. No, we're not. We're not. There is Lewis Gordon. He's getting back up to speed. Currently running 41st of the 42 drivers in this race. One car is in the garage. I'm unaware of who is in the garage area. It's probably um, whoever wrecked in that first crash. I know um, Dion Petty. No, Dion's still in this, so. Who got in? I know Phil. J oh, trouble! Oh, trouble! Kyle Smith has turned hard into the wall and further up. Christian James has wrecked. Oh, hard hit by Kurt Keselowski into Michael Harvey. Kurt's car is killed. Oh, tough break. And oh, more trouble, I believe, off in one, or was that smoke from the last crash? I think that was from the last crash. Uh, oh, tough break for all these guys. Let's see what happened here to Stephen Dillon. Well, we saw Stephen Dillon up in the wall. We yelled trouble, but we thought he saved it, and then he ended up getting wrecked. Michael Harvey got into him into Kyle Smith, and that's a huge hit for both of those guys. I don't expect to see them back out onto the track. They might, but it'd be, um... It's unlikely, let's just put it that way. And Oh my gosh, Kurt Keselowski just clobbered Michael Harvey and that pretty much put him in the garage area immediately with the um, crash damage. Let's get a few other views of this. We're taking this, we're taking this very slow and Michael Harvey hits the wall, comes off into Janes and Michael Harvey gets hit by Dion Petty. Dion's been involved in two crashes along with Janes. <laughs> Gallagher did a great job getting through that along with Henley but Kurt Kozlowski goes flying through there just barely misses Janes but clobbers right in to Michael Harvey. Riding on board with Kurt Kozlowski. Oh, just barely clipped him. Hard hit there by Kurt. Let's get back racing. The pace car lights are off, and we will be back racing on lap 20 of 50. Let's see how they'll look. Restarting on point is Andrew Weltrip, then Alex Filter, Zach Buchanan, Jacob Lawler, Matthew McMurray, your top five. Then Ziggy Bain, Gino Harvey, Garrett Jones, Evan Earnhardt, and Danny Wells, your top ten. Go back up to Andrew Waltrip. 39 cars left in this race. The last car in this race is Lewis Gordon. Oh, we should have saw what happened to him there, but too late now. As here we go, two Fords will lead him side by side. Michael Harvey's a lap down, but Andrew Waltrip leads him down for the green. And already Alex Filters up out of the groove. Stuck on the outside of a lapped car. Looks like he's going to make it. But now Michael Harvey is slowing down Jacob Lawler, and these guys are all bunching up, and look out. That could have gotten a lot worse. And Zach Buchanan up the track, not liking this situation. He slides up again, side by side, two Penske cars, and Buchanan hits the wall. And right into Joseph Bryan, and there they go. Oh, Greg Jones, Seth Cole, Greg is on his lid. Massive pile up, and there goes Buchanan over on his roof. Stephen Dillon is involved. Andrew Walter brings it back, but look out. Oh, he hits Henley. Andrew Walter hits Henley hard. And Filter hits Seth Cole. These guys under caution have hit these guys that just wrecked. Uh, let's see what happened. All right, right here, Zach Buchanan. We saw he was dangerously up out of the groove. He comes right back into Joseph Bryant. Bryant goes up into the wall, but the real pile up is actually starting when Greg Jones hits. All of these guys just piling in. They knew they saw smoke and they're trying to get out of the way, but they're they really couldn't at all. Galligan runs into the back of his teammate there, Jack Richards, but I think he's going to be all right. And all these guys piling in. Tough break for all the drivers involved in this crash. It's unfortunate that they were involved, but you really can't do anything about that. All right. Um, Andrew Walter won it back, but he has crash damage along with Alex Filter, so Jacob Lawler might lead him back down. Let's get back to the green. 
Indeed, we had Andrew Waltrip take a pit stop under caution after hitting somebody under caution. I forgot who it was. I believe it was Henley. Three starting up point now is going to be Alex Filter, then Jacob Lawler, Ziggy Bain, Garrett Jones, Gino Harvey, Danny Wells, Courtney Simpson, Matthew McMurray, Chris Summers, and Evan Earnhardt. All right, we head back up to the leaders. Alex Filter is going to lead him back down to the green flag momentarily. Here we go, three lapped cars on the inside. Michael Harvey, Lewis Gordon, and Stephen Dillon. Green flag waves again. Alex Filter with a great jump. I don't like the situation, though, with these lapped cars on the inside. That could cost these guys. They're stacking them up back here. This could get big. All right, they have it somewhat sorted out, but they're still Garrett Jones. He's dangerously up the track. Okay, it looks like he's going to survive for now, but Ziggy Bain is up there. Courtney Simpson is up there as well. They are somehow hanging on. And further up, they're three wide. Somebody's up into the wall. That's Ziggy Bain. Bain got up into the wall a ton. Galligan has some damage back there, and Greg Jones it didn't seem to be um, agreeing with each other on something there. Oh, I guess he just went through the field now twice, but okay. And whoa, what happened to Danny Wells? Garrett Jones is up the track. And all right, he is going to be okay. So who's leading this race is what I'm trying to figure out. I believe it's, yeah, Alex Filter leads this race with Jacob Lawler right behind him. It's probably one of the best battles on the track right here. This is for a pretty high up position, and they are side by side as Evan Earnhardt gets side by side with his good friend Chris Summers, but Chris is able to pull him down the front stretch. Evan can get to him, but he can never do anything with him, but I think I heard scraping, didn't I? Somebody must have got up into the wall, though, because I think I heard something. And here's a battle. Courtney said, oh, geez, three wide further. Oh, all right, they got that organized somewhat. Gino Harvey, Courtney Simpson, Chris Summers, Carter Kozlowski all battling hard for seventh place. Actually, that's for sixth. Carter Kozlowski could pick up three spots in this lap and I believe he picked up two he has to catch up to Gino Harvey to get that next position to get him up to sixth they have actually calmed down uh, quite a bit here and we got a side by side battle again between Austin Anderson and Chris Summers alright let's try to find a good battle in oh this is actually a critical battle because Matthew McMurray's gotten around Lewis Gordon and that gets Matthew clear of lapped cars, but Lewis, he is not going to give up on this battle. He's still hanging in there. And they're actually running up on lap traffic. Greg Jones, that could be, that could be vital. And Filter's going to get around him. Jacob Lawler's going to get around him. They're all going to get around him cleanly. Here comes Jacob Lawler, though, for the lead, and Lawler almost ran him over. He could have wrecked the leader or almost wrecked himself, but he took the sacrifice, almost turned himself around, but he was able to uh, save it. And right now, a battle for, I believe that is 23rd on the racetrack, was three wide, but they were able to get it sorted out. Oh boy, Ziggy Bain was up the track a little bit high. Side-by-side -side battle between teammates. One of them's a lap down, though. Greg Jones, Courtney Simpson. Now Carter Kozlowski has caught Gino Harvey, and they're running up on a few guys up in front of these guys. It's going to give the advantage to Kozlowski as they go off into one and two. Sixth place to Kozlowski, but he's not done picking up as he is trying to get around Stephen Dillon. That is to get him lapped, and then he'll try to go after Pacioli. Oh, trouble! Huge wreck! Greg Jones almost went on his lid, and oh, Galligan hard into him. Oh, nowhere for these guys to go, and that was a massive wreck on the front stretch. Greg Jones almost went on his lid, and everybody else coming in ran him over. Oh, hard, hard hit there. That's incredible.
And the pace car is out. Let's see what happened. Greg Jones has taken a massive lick. Gets hit here by Danny Wells and at full speed comes flying in, clobbers the inside wall. And Danny Wells still up in the air, but then this is where it gets scary. Greg Jones sitting in the middle of the track. The pace car's pulling out. Galligan clobbers him. Then Janes runs under Galligan. And then Michael Harvey comes flying in. He hits Janes. Phil Jones and Joseph Bryant were kind of able to check it up in time. Phil Jones ran into the back of Galligan, but that was a massive wreck. And did Filter run into any troubles? He won it back. No, they got through this. All right. Um, let's still uh, get an onboard here with Galligan. On board with Galligan and look out. This is going to hurt. Oh, man. Hits him head on and then gets hit a few other times by James and Michael Harvey. Let's get back green. Well, I guess we're restarting with three laps to go. I was totally unaware of that. But restarting on point is Alex Filter, then Matthew McMurray, Jacob Lawler, Evan Earnhardt, Timmy Pacioli, Carter Kozlowski, Austin Anderson, Stephen Dillon, no, no, uh, Alex Dawson, Gino Harvey, and Garrett Jones, your top ten. There's about 15 cars within the top ten. A bunch of them are lapped down, and Filter gets a great jump on the restart, and that's pretty much all he needed to do. Matthew McMurray, he can try his hardest, but I just don't. Oh, look at it. Look out. Mitch Speed's way up out of the groove, and he's going to slow down all these guys behind. This could cause the wreck. And Steven Dillon, Schwartz is up into the wall further back. There's three wide, many areas on this track. Phil Jones pulling back onto the track. They're going to continue racing for the lead as we are on the little white flag. Alex Filter is trying to hold off Matthew McMurray for just one quarter of a mile longer. Filter trying to get the win. Matthew McMurray trying to take it from him. Filter wins at Bristol. And I, I, I thought we were going to wreck there. Well, Jacob Cook, they pretty much crossed the line and everything just broke loose. All right, what a race today, and let's go back up to the winner, Alex Filter. All right, let's get to the results. And off to the left there. There they are. Alex Filter wins the race with an average speed of 81.584 miles an hour over Matthew McMurray in second, Jacob Lawler third, Evan Earnhardt fourth, Carter Kozlowski fifth. So a good run for all those drivers. And you can look on through Lewis Gordon, Stephen Dillon, My, uh, Mitch Speed, Michael Harvey, Danny Wells, Phil Jones. Or no, Danny Wells was the last car one lap down, then Phil Jones was two. And Galligan was out of the race. He was the first car out of the race in 29th. You can look on through. Dylan Young, Kurt Kozlowski, John Dylan, Charles Jackson, Justin Perry, Jack Richards, Seth Cole, a lot of those guys deep in the field there. They had some issues and they ended up getting wrecked and ended up out of the race. But at the world's fastest half mile, Alex Filter is going to go to victory lane. Congratulations, Filter. Here is the celebration screen.